of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Ye shall not know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Let's do it again, please. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Ye shall not know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness yeah. and rivers in the desert. Amen. 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 As I did on last week, yeah. do not sneeze or yawn, or you will miss the message. Let's, it is an honor. It is a privilege, and it is an opportunity to celebrate Black History Month. Amen. Prior to the celebration of Black History Month, our children, as well as their peers, did not know much about African American history. All that was ever presented was the slave passage Amen. and the era of slavery in the United States. But the goodness of all of the inventions, all of the progress in all areas of life that had been brought forth by African Americans did not become as widely known until Black History Month was celebrated. Amen. It is good for one to know one's history. Mm -hmm. yeah. It tells us who we are and from whence we come. Amen. But I must caution us that one cannot rest on the laurels of one's history. Yeah. Yeah. It can only take us to a certain point. And we must go beyond where the history talks about what used to be. And we must prepare for today and for tomorrow. And this morning's scripture addressed that very thing. God sends the prophet Isaiah to his chosen people. Israel. And he talks to Israel by the grace and the divine spirit of God about dwelling too much in the past. And, and look, Montgomery was a, a wonderful and a progressive thing. Birmingham was a wonderful and a progressive thing. Selma, we spilled our blood. But we cannot rest on Montgomery, Birmingham, and Selma. History takes us so far. And God is telling his people, you cannot rest, you cannot dwell too much in the past. Now, now, now Israel had a rich history. They had every right to brag and to talk about the wonderful things and to express their testimony. Yeah. Oh God, he's our father and we are his chosen people. Yeah. He has fought our battles for us. He, he saved us in the time of man, brought us into Egypt, and 400 years later, he sent Moses to lead us out. Oh, he opened the Red Sea for us, brought us through the wilderness, rained bread from heaven, drew water from a rock, 
Oh, they dwell on their history. But while dwelling on all the goodness of the past, they were failing in the present. And God sent Isaiah to talk to his people and say, Look here, folk. The past is wonderful. But you cannot live on the past. You must take the richness of your history to build today and tomorrow and the next day. And black folk, we can talk about Soldier in Truth. We can talk about Harriet Tubman, Carter G. Woodson, Booker T. Washington. We can talk about all of the greats of the past with pride. But when we all failing in school, when our pants are falling off our rear ears, come on, Red. When more black babies are being born in the single bus, when we are living from week to week. When we cannot earn the same wage as others. Come on now. Come on now. When more of us get into college and more of us flunk out. When the jails are filled with 50% of African Americans. We cannot just dwell on what used to be. We have to move. We have to move forward, capture the richness of our history. But we cannot talk in yesterday. All right, all right. And too often, black folk, we want to walk down memory lane for the rest of our lives. Oh, I remember the way it used to be. Used to be, you know, Put a meal on the table today. Amen, amen. Used to be, don't improve people in present day circumstances. Oh, I, I think our history is rich. I think we should tell it. But we shouldn't try to live with it. Nor should we live in it. Isaiah faced the people. And he challenged them. He challenged them to think beyond where they were. He says, hey, look, your greatest victories are not behind you. They are in front of you. God did all of those wonderful things that you may have life and life go about it. Not that you live in your uh, yesterdays. Oh, oh, look. God had brought them through all of these rich and wonderful things. But he's saying to them, if you do not come out of your yesterdays, you cannot enjoy the new thing I'm ready to do for you. Amen. And God's ready to do a new thing. God is ready to show us his greatness beyond yesterday. He's ready to demonstrate their joys that we cannot even imagine. Amen, amen. But we must step forward and claim the promises. Oh, the good old days. If it was good enough for mama, was good enough for daddy, it's good enough for me. Well, it ain't good enough for this child. It's not good enough for me. Take me out of that number. Come on now. My, my, my mother, bless her heart, was well educated at our time. She had gone to seventh grade, bless her soul. My dad was a third grade. And thank God for it. They did well. And they did the best they could do. Come on now. 
my dad was earning fifty dollars a week with with a dozen children. Yeah. That ain't good enough for me. Yeah. Amen. Come on, man. Come on. Man, my dad walked to work five miles summer and winter. Yeah. Not good enough for me. Come on, man. My dad struggled. There were days when he'd come home and sew up our shoes. That's not good enough for me. Come on, Dad. Come on. Bless them. They were wonderful, good, loving folk. Yes. But I don't want to live like they did. Come on. They prepared me for something greater than what they enjoyed. Yes, we did. Live in memory lane. I'll never progress. Amen. And Isaiah is talking to his people this morning. Mm -hmm. Say, you are good and strong folk, mm -hmm. but you're standing still. Yeah. Yes. Because you're trying to live on the laurels of your history. Mm -hmm. You're impressing folk with what used to be. We need to step beyond yesterday yes. and get into tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Stay with me for just a moment. It is not good enough to have a black man on the Supreme Court. All right. Come on now. When there is still injustice in the land. Yeah. It's not good enough to have a black man in the White House Come on. Come on. when we are preparing a dozen more bombers along the way. Come on now, man. All right. It's not good enough to talk about the inventions in the black community when more and more of our kids are failing mathematics. We cannot rest on our laws, mm -hmm. or we'll come to the point that all we have to rest on will be our laws. Yes. Yes. We can talk about racial tolerance. We can talk about how beautiful diversity is. Yes. But when the real estate agent hasn't learned that yet, come on, come on now. When the banker can I afford a loan? Come on now. Yeah. When human resources can't break the glass ceiling. Come on now. That's not good enough. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Oh, I remember when I used to be. Where are the rest of your folk? Yeah. Are they living than used to be? Yes. Or are we preparing them for a greater and a brighter, a brighter, and a brighter tomorrow. Yeah. Even in the church, 